one of the most polarizing fighters in the entire UFC, was recently unceremoniously dropped from his division's rankings. Welcome into ESPN's MMA Live Extra. I'm Phil Murphy. Nate Diaz is out of the lightweight rankings, and to discuss, we welcome in ESPN MMA writer Brett Okamoto. Brett, what were your initial impressions when you saw Diaz was removed from the rankings? Well, I think the UFC dropping Diaz from the rankings, it tells us basically two things. The first off is that we really shouldn't expect to see him in the octagon anytime soon. And that goes against what UFC President Dana White said just a couple weeks ago at UFC 172 in Baltimore at a post-fight press conference. Uh, media members were asking White about Diaz, and he said, Diaz is ready to go again. His contract issues are sound like they're good. He told UFC matchmaker Joe Silva he wants to fight, so we're going to find him a fight. Well, it doesn't look like that now because the reason the UFC gave for dropping Diaz out of those rankings is that he's refusing to take fights. Um, the second thing that, that that decision tells us is that those rankings, you know, it just it doesn't look good for him. You know, the, the, the fans and media members have already sort of been lukewarm on those rankings to begin with. The UFC is, is, is sort of in control of them. They publish them. Uh, they are the ones who ask the media members to vote on them. So being able to just drop a guy whenever they feel like it, you know, I, I don't think is right. Nate Diaz, even though he's not accepting fights right now, he wants to renegotiate his contract. He still earned that top 10 ranking. So it doesn't make the rankings look very good. Brett, I appreciate the time. Thanks, Phil. For more on this story or other MMA news, head over to ESPN.com slash MMA. For Brett Okamoto, I'm Phil Murphy. Thanks for watching.